if you have a puppy, if you have a senior dog, if you have a dog with mobility issues, and you are an on-the-go kind of person, you may want to consider a puppy or a dog stroller. I have found this to be, hands down, one of the best things that I did for my dogs in my life, and this has worked for my senior dog before she passed. She was really, really good at going for walks with us, but couldn't make it the entire way. This gave her a break. It allowed us to keep her away from other dogs if need be. It also works really well for my two new puppies, as they are not vaccinated all the way yet, they can't be out in public, or if they are too tired because they're so little, or if I'm just trying to keep other people from touching them. We know lots of people love to run up to puppies. This is a great option for that. It's also really good for taking them into town. If you're going to a dog-friendly restaurant or something, they can just stay tucked nicely away in there. They're not on the hot concrete. They're not running around doing things at other people's tables. You've got them contained. It is fantastic. It's very easy to transport. It's lightweight, highly effective, and you can do it entirely by yourself after the first time you set it up. You will need a little bit of help at the beginning but let's take a look at how this works and how it could potentially function for you. Setting up your stroller is incredibly easy. Now, the first time you do it, you will need a second, maybe even a third person to help separate the bars. It is very hard to get the handle in the first time. But once you've put the handle in, you've let it sit there for a few hours and you take it back out, it's very easy to get it back in. You just have to push out with both sides. I recommend putting in one side first and then not putting it in all the way, just the edge of it so that it does not click into place so that you have a little bit of give as you are moving with this. And then you're just gonna pull the opposite side back and pop the other side in at which point you can push the entire thing down to lock into place you do have locks on the wheels if you do not have them locked which i recommend you don't you are able to move this at any angle it's very easy to push this forward my locks have actually jammed up on me so you want to be careful with that if you are going to be using the locks as well it does have a front entrance so you are able to unzip it and put your dog in the front. If you've got a bigger dog, they can just step right in. If you've got a smaller dog, it does have a top closure as well. So you are then able to put your puppy through there. With my puppies, I do put them through the top, not through the front, but when they get bigger, they will be going through the front. And then it does have a zipper in the back, although they don't recommend that you are using that. You do have the opportunity to use it. Now, inside of this, you do have several pockets. So you've got your one main pocket, a second main pocket, and then a smaller pocket. You can put a water bottle in it. We use our poop bags in there, and you have the ability to clip things to the bar as well. So if you've got carabiners or zip ties, you can clip things to it. I will put hand sanitizer on this. I usually put other things like their water bowls as well. And then if you do need more space, I actually take a little, um, like a little tote bag backpack, and I just wrap the straps right around the handle and I'll clip them with a carabiner. That will allow me to be able to have a backpack hanging here as well. So I can put extra leashes, I can put paper towels, I can put their water, whatever I need that does not fit into the pockets in there. Now, if you're putting things inside of the pockets, keep in mind, this is going to have to be removed before you collapse this down. So this is a very easy way to transport your pets. I have fit a dog, a paparinian, and two English Springer Spaniels puppies in here, no problem. And before that, my senior English Springer Spaniel and my Paparini fit in with lots of room for another small dog as well. This one's very easy. They do have um, Velcro enclosures up here. So if you are going to be unzipping this front, and if you're just going to be pushing around, if your dog is well behaved, you have the opportunity to just roll it up just like this. Or if you are just doing this for them to exit and enter, you can just roll it up and the Velcro attaches right here so that you don't have to deal with that either. And this one just flaps over on the top. So you've got lots of options for this. You can leave this rolled up if you want, or you can leave it down when you collapse this, not a problem either way. Typically, I don't go through the motions of doing that, but I, uh, I can, if I want to, I can roll that up. Now inside of my carrier, I do put things down. So there's only a hard flat bottom here. For my puppies, I continue to use pee pads until they are totally ready to go. But then I also put something like sheet or a blanket or a towel in here just for comfort for my animals because I don't want them running around on the hard plastic. They do have options on the site for you to buy like a, a pee pad type thing that permanently goes in there that you can just take out and wash, but that's entirely up to you. Now this particular solar does have the advanced wheels. So you have the option of just normal wheels. The advanced wheels, I cannot say enough good things about them because they have made it very easy just to turn and to navigate as we are going. Very simple to use. And then to take this apart, all you have to do is grab both of your metal pieces here. So you're unlocking it. You're just gonna lift this right up after your pets, of course, are out. You take this apart set that down and then you're just going to collapse one side in on the other 
Now it's nice and flat. And then as I'm transporting it in my car, I'm just going to flip it upside down and transport it with wheels up inside of my vehicle. It's very easy to use, very easy to clean, very easy to maintain, very easy to travel with. It does not get smaller than this. This is the space it's going to take. So I do put the other side down, the top side here down, and then we've got the wheels up. You can clean your wheels before you put them inside of your car if you wanna make sure it is nice and clean before you do that. But this has been a really good one for my pets so that we can take them on the go. We can take them to the park and walk. They're still puppies. They're old and they're tired. All of those things, really great option. The ventilation is really great through there, but it also is mesh. So if you need extra, you can grab a fan and just attach it somewhere on your cart. So let's say you do need a little more ventilation in there from wherever you're walking. You can grab a fan and you can just tuck it in the corner. So I will zip it up just like this and then put just part of it right down in here so that, oh, you can't see it from that side. That's okay. I just put a little bit of a fan here. I also have been known to stick my fans right here inside of the pockets and just butt it up against the mesh so that it blows into it. So there's lots of great options for this. And if yours does not close properly, it's probably because you have something left inside of your pockets. I cannot say enough good things about this stroller. This has been a game changer for my puppies and for my family. It makes it very easy for us to go out and about, take them into town, take them on walks in the park. We're about to go on vacation and we're gonna be taking this so that we can go do things. And um, we're going to the beach and we're gonna go to all the cute beachy shops and we don't have to leave them in the hotel. This allows us to go to pet friendly restaurants and things and have them have a space where they can go and relax and not be stressed and not be around other animals. This is great for my senior dog before she passed. This was fabulous for her and it takes it takes some dogs a little bit to get used to it but typically they catch on pretty quickly it's not open so they can't go jumping out we had previously tried a wagon with my senior dog and she would just hop out of it this has been really good for containing the puppies really good for pushing all of them around and very lightweight to be moving so even if you you know can't move a ton of weight this is going to be very simple for you to then take your pets on the go if you have questions about this go ahead and drop it down below follow along for upcoming reviews on pet products and things that are working really well for my dogs and for my puppies right now so that you can do this as well and watch my puppies as they are growing up learning new things and becoming the puppies the dogs that they are going to be questions comments drop them down below and we'll see you in the upcoming episodes